Oh, hi there. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about someone I know who I'm not going to give any details about who either works for CN Rail or CP Rail and was recently in an accident uh, while driving this train. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what his job entails. Uh, we don't talk too much in specifics about that sort of thing. But what I do know about trains is that uh, quite often uh, there'll be either a transient, uh, a drunk person, or someone wanting to commit suicide by train. It's entirely not the driver's fault. Uh, because you, you cannot stop these trains. I think it takes something like half a mile to completely stop a train and they're going like 60 miles an hour and it's a big hunk of steel so there's there's, there's no stopping some people, okay? Anyway, um, what had happened was um, everything was going normal uh, from what I hear. Uh, this is all secondhand information. I actually haven't talked to this person uh, in a few months, I'm just hearing this secondhand from another source, but I know it to be true. Um, someone had committed suicide by train. Um, apparently, their head was down on the tracks, and they were talking to their mother on the phone. So that's uh, good night, Irene. Nothing anyone could do about that. Um, I'm sure the mother of the deceased person uh, verified that. All this takes time, of course. You, you, you can't, you know, go about your business straight afterwards. It takes probably all night to sort that sort of thing out. Um, needless to say, he's uh, post-traumatic right now. Um, He's definitely feeling all kinds of things I wouldn't even begin to understand. Uh, but the thing about this job is, uh, inevitably, this sort of thing will happen. And it's not a job I would want, for various reasons. Uh, that's not the only reason, although that's probably the biggest reason I wouldn't want to do that job. Um, there are other reasons too, but anyway. It's a highly stressful environment, and... Um, there's a lot of uh, things to uh, be concerned about, uh, like Lake Mactique, uh the explosion with all the oil, and how it lit up a whole city. Um, that's uh, that's that's pretty scary. These things uh, they're important to to our economy. They're carrying millions of dollars worth of grain oil, whatever, toxic chemicals, uh, who knows. Uh, so, yeah, I, someone brought up to the point to me when I was talking about it that, oh, a train, if you're driving a train and it's dark, you're not going to notice. But I don't think that's true. Um, something about it. Uh, I. Don't ask me, I've never even been on a train before in my life, other than the uh, Canada line. So, and that doesn't really count. That's not the same thing at all. So, uh, I'm not the best one to describe this situation, but I'm saying, uh, I guess like little Nikki said, I'll just avoid things that are heavy and metal. They're made of metal. Yeah, I advise that. Um, I would not recommend going anywhere near uh, something that's heavy and made of metal and moving fast. I'd heard some story of a Russian who went in a wizard's outfit and he thought he could cast a spell to stop a train and he, he stepped in front of a train and it, it obviously didn't work. Uh, that may be just a Facebook story, but I mean, it, it that sort of stuff is never funny, but um, Lordy is uh, some people out of touch with reality. 
Um, I wish I had more details I could share, but I really don't. I, I don't know anything. All I know is someone I know, who I'm not going to describe how I know them, uh, was in an accident. Um, uh, a man had committed suicide, and now my person I know has uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, I don't know what's going to happen next. I really don't. Anyway, uh, since I don't have much more to talk about this subject, I'll leave it at this. Uh, good night. <laughs>